So hello guys, locate the centroid y bar of the area. So meron tayong equation ng ating curve which is y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds. And meron tayong maximum height ng ating shaded area which is 4 inches. And meron tayong maximum length ng ating uh, shaded area along horizontal which is 8 inches. So yung hahanapin natin guys is yung y bar. Y bar, ito yung location ng ating centroid along vertical. Okay? So, yung centroid kasi, it is composed of X and Y. So, dito sa condition ng ating problem, hanapin lang natin yung Y bar or yung Y coordinate ng ating centroid. So, first of all, kailangan mo natin mag-draw ng vertical uh, differential strip. Okay. So, ito na yung ating uh, differential element which is vertical and nilagay ko na rin yung centroid ng ating uh, differential element which is itong sa gitna. Yan yung centroid ng ating differential element. Okay. So, ito, uh, yung thickness ng ating differential element is dx. Okay? So, d sub x yung ating differential element. And then, yung full height ng ating differential element is uh, lalagyan natin y. Okay? So, from here up to this portion, y yung ating height. Okay? So, uh, centroid sa differential element along y-axis is in the middle. Right? So, kung in the middle siya, meaning, i-divide natin sa 2 yung ating uh, full height. So, ito na, nilabelan ko na. So, yung coordinate ng ating uh, centroid sa differential element natin is we have x and y over 2. So, yung formula para malaman yung uh, y bar ng ating centroid is simply we have equation uh, y bar is equals to integral of y curly dA over integral of dA. So, kailangan na natin identify yung mga variable. So, yung y bar or yung y curly d, it is location ng ating centroid sa differential element. So, y curly meaning with respect to y. So, yung y curly natin is y over 2. Again, yung y curly, ito yung location ng ating centroid sa differential element. Magkaiba yung centroid ng ating uh, shaded area sa differential element. Okay? And then, we have DA. So, yung DA natin is itong differential element. So, what is the area of our differential element? So, since nakarekt angular form siya, so we need to multiply length times its width. So, yung length natin, full length ng ating differential element is Y. Hindi Y over 2 ha. Yung Y over 2, yan yung location ng centroid sa differential element. Pero yung tinatanong ko is yung full length. So, it is Y. Okay? And then, yung thickness o yung width is DX meaning y dx. Then, we have y. Ito yung uh, equation ng ating curve, which is x raised to 2 third. So, after that, kailangan na natin substitute sa ating uh, formula. So, y bar is equal to integral of y over 2, which is yung y curly, and yung dA is y dx over y dx So, okay. So, yung limits natin from where? So, since dx yung ating width, therefore yung ating limits ay manggagaling along horizontal. So, hindi tayo makukuha ng limits sa vertical kasi dx yung ating thickness. So, dito tayo magbibase. So, kung yung ating uh, di, uh, thickness is dx, therefore, dito tayo kukuha ng limits along horizontal. So, from 0 up to 8 inches. So, from 0 to 8. And then, as you can see, merong 1 half along y. So, pag mag integrate tayo, kailangan natin ilabas yung 1 half sa ating integral sign. Okay, ito na. So, nilabas ko yung 1 half and we multiply yung y sa y. So, we, so na come up natin yung y raised to 2. And then, yung operator natin is d and yung katarin variable niya is y. Meaning, hindi natin may integrate ito kasi mag iba yung variables sa kanyang operator. But meron tayong equation ng curve. So, magagamit natin yan. So, yung y, papalitan natin ng x raised to 2 third. So, ito na siya guys. So, yung y, pinalitan ko lang ng x raised to 2 third. Then, may squared. Dito, ito. So, then, simplify natin to So, ito na siya. So, bakit ng 4 thirds? Kasi, exponent, law of exponent lang yan. So, yung mangyari, multiply natin yung 2 sa exponent na 2 over 3. So, meron tayong 4 third. And then, since nagko-complement na yung ating variable sa kanyang operator, which is x na sila pareho, pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa ordinary integration. So, we come up with 1 half times 
Ito ay add natin sa 1. So, meron tayong 7 over 3 and save lang din yung denominator niya. So, dito 2 3 plus 1 which is 5 3rd and 5 3rd din yung denominator niya. So, simplify natin. So, ito na siya guys. So, kung mapapansin nyo. So, ito na siya guys. So, dito inakyat, nireciprocal ko yung 7 over 3 para mapunta siya dito sa ating taas. So, dito, sinipify ko lang to Minug ko siya dito para maging 3 over 7. Multiply natin sa 1 half. And, x3 to 7 over 3. Meanwhile, dito sa man sa baba, ninilipat ko to dito. So, we have 3 over 5. x raised to 5 over 3. Okay? So, then, uh, dito, pwede natin to masimplify. So, remember na kapag x squared over x, yung mangyayari, x yung sagot. Kasi dito, sa division, nagiging, nagsasubtract tayo ng exponent. Okay? Kaya, 1 yung natira. So, dito, isasubtract din natin yung exponent ng ating L, minus 5 over 3. So, yung matitira, x raised to 2 over 3 sa numerator. At dito sa numerator, equals 1 na siya. So, nawala na siya. Okay? So, dito, transfer lang natin siya dito. Dito, multiply natin dito. So, ito na yung simplified version ng ating y bar. So, naging 5 over 14 siya, x raised to 2 third from 0 to 8. So, now, kailangan na natin substitute yung limits. So, it is equals to 5 over 14 times upper limit na 8 raised to 2 third. Okay, minus lower limit 0 to third. So, finally, yung y bar natin is equals to. So, final answer, y bar is equals to 1.429 inches or approximately y bar is equals to 1.43 inches. So, yung y bar natin is 1.43 inches. So, dito, kung 4 inches ito, yung ito is 2 and then ito is 1.5 so dito 1.43 siya so somewhere sabihin na lang natin dito so around dito so nag exist yung ating centroid so hanapin nyo na lang yung x bar din na intersect kung saan mag intersect dyan nakalocate yung centroid but sa question kasi y bar lang yung nahanap kaya yan lang yung ating answer so one, y bar is equals to 1.43 inches so pasensya nyo na medyo uh, hindi accurate yung aking pag wrap Green ako lang yan basta-basta pero ganyan na mag-solve ng Y-bar. So, hope na nakatulong guys and God bless.